call. Oh man, it is time. I have been waiting for this game. <sighs> Pal World. If you haven't heard of it, it is like Ark mixed with Pokemon, mixed with awesome sauce and coolness. By the way, guys, my name's Alan, aka NeoCryptor. Welcome to the channel. We are going to start checking out some Pal World. Uh, I, this game, as you can see, I'm only level six. I just basically jumped in to get fuel for it and uh, get my settings and everything right. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new world. We're gonna call this one, um, Hi YouTube. <laughs> Why not? And hit confirm. We're going to leave it at normal and then we're going to create, a, yeah, set up the game. We're gonna create a new character going to explore everything pal world has to make or has to do let's see we're just going to name the character neo like so and then we're going to check out the presets i'm probably going to go ahead and go with a female character because i don't know i tried messing with a male model and there's something just doesn't look right about them i haven't quite figured it out what it is um but yeah, there was something that was bugging me about them. I just don't know. Let's go. Let's go with this one. Why not? And uh, we're going to leave the body alone because things can get like <laughs> ridiculous, as you can see. So we're going to leave it, you know, roughly around normal. Uh, this just switches between male and female body. So there you go. That's that. There's something you can't unsee. <coughs> uh, face. Um, oh, God. So, oh. I don't know. What do you think? You think that works? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, what's the difference? Okay, so that one or that one. Let's go with that one. Hair, I think we will see. No. I almost really like that default hair, to be honest. What's with that little cowlick sticking up? Seriously? Mm. You know what? I think I kind of think I like that. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. We're gonna go with that, and then we can adjust the voice a little bit. Yeah, we'll go with that one. And yeah, we're, we're pretty much done. Now we get a cool little cutscene, which is, I don't know, feels a little weird. Aren't they adorbs? I think they're adorbs. The towers are the key. The tree holds the tr tr truth. And now we start our adventure into the great unknown and the reason here's why i say it feels disjointed because we're we were just on a beach now we're in a cave and i ran down here and looked around i didn't see any way to get down to the beach from here there might be but i i i don't know it just felt weird but let's go ahead and jump right in and head outside the gate here and we have a couple things we can do right off the bat. There's that uh, glowy statue, which is a fast travel marker. And we can grab a piece of wood while we're at two. Let's unlock that. So now we can fast travel back to this area when we need to from uh, what I, I gather is any other fast travel point. And we're just going to pick up some things. We're going to talk to this guy because, uh, you know, he's got some stuff for us. But all since someone who didn't stink of pals washed up here. This island is a living hell. The people I came with aren't with us, well, any longer. Those damn pals ate every one of them. You be careful out there. Here, take some basic supplies. You'll need to toughen up if you want to survive out there. Yeah, thanks, partner. Weird accent, though. Okay, so he gave us some wood, basically. And uh, we picked up those rocks. And what we're, I'm going to just kind of run around, gather in my other playthrough. Uh, I set up my base right here and I'm, I regret it. You know, even though I was early on only level six, I still regret it. 
So we're going to ignore our pals for the moment. I'm just going to gather, you know, some basic resources and, uh, yeah, do a little bit of crafting. Ooh, what's this? A palladium fragment. We'll need those. Yep. Uh, I do need to put down a workbench so I can make some tools. So let's go ahead and whoop, do that. Boom. Let's just stick it right here because whatever. Build it up by holding down the F button. And shabupi. There we go. We have that. Now we can make us a baseball bat. And right now, crafting is tedious because you actually have to hold down the button and, and, and do the work yourself. But later on, we can kind of automate that, which is going to be nice. So let's go ahead and make one of those. Okay. Uh, and what do we need? We're oh, a little bit of everything. That's fine. That is fine. So we get, we don't have an ax yet. We can punch the tree or even use our baseball bat to get some wood. As you can see over on the left, it's going up. So we get just a dab of wood and then uh, some rock, just a dab of rock and we can make our, axe. what am I doing? I have a pickaxe that we can actually do. Now you don't want to get grabbed too much. Obviously, because right now our weight is not, you know, we don't, can't carry a lot. So we got to kind of be mindful of that. So now we can make an ax. Boom. We can make a torch. And we're good. And I don't know if I can pick up this table or not. I, we'll see. I, since it's already taking a little bit of damage, I don't think it's going to let us, but, uh, you know, it might. So let's go in here. Let's go to disassembly mode by hitting C and yeah, we can pick it up. Okay, cool. So we have a bat, we have an ax, how much let's go ahead and we should have got a point here somewhere. Ah, uh, yeah. In hat and stats, we have one point. I'm going to go ahead and drop that into weight. So boom, shakalak, we can carry a little bit more, which uh, is not nearly enough. Let's go ahead and grab some wood because uh, we're going to need a lot of wood. I made an axe. There it is. Yeah. Going to need a whole lot of wood. Anyway, guys, are you excited for Pal World? Because I have been watching the development of this game for a while, and I'm just like, oh, my God, it looks so amazing. It does not have it does not have the right to be as good yeah. as, as it was looking and Ah, uh, just, you know, it's just so cool. Uh, I played Pocket Paris other game uh, a fair bit, not a whole lot on camera. I think I did a couple videos with it, but um, not a whole lot of them. And it was fun. I really like Craftopia quite a bit. But this is just too perfect, man. Too perfect. I better take a look at our weight real quick. Okay, yeah, we better hold off on doing any more of that. Let's go ahead and grab some berries, though, because we will be getting hungry eventually. A little chickpea. Hi, little chickpea. I can't get you yet, but that's okay. Let's pull our bat out and uh, take a survey our area. Ooh, we see some shiny palladium down there. Uh, another effigy, and I think, and there should be a chest down there if everything is the same as starting out in my other game. The palladium is what we need to make uh, pal balls or pal spheres. So, pokeballs basically. Not gonna lie. Okay. Found a note from another adventurer. Meow. That is, that cat thing is one of the first things that we are totally gonna go for. They are super useful. <laughs> Especially early game, from what I can tell. Anyway. Meow. But we gotta get a uh, pal ball to be able to do that. Alright. I'm gonna grind a few bits of this Palladian. Put down another... Put down another crafting bench somewhere. 
and start crafting some pal balls so we can maybe pick up a, a friend. I'll tell you right now, crafting lots of things in the beginning is very tedious. I went ahead and made a bow and now I'm making some arrows to go along with it. I probably should have waited, but yeah, a bow and arrow is you know, better than a club because, <coughs> you know, ranged. <laughs> and now I'm stuck here holding down F for a while. So yeah, that's a thing. Ah, uh, yes, a cativa. Three of them actually. Look at him. He's working out up there. Check him out. Check him out. So we we're gonna want some of these guys for sure. So let's go ahead and get low. Oh, we killed it. Ah, <laughs> oh, it died, Vegeta. We can grab that mega sphere. Oh yeah. Oh man, there's so many. Let's try not to kill this one. Uh, seriously, try apparently. There we go. Don't charge the bow all the way. Hundred percent catch rate. Yeah. So there's our first pokey pa or our pal mod. Uh, there's our first pal. <laughs> awesome. We got Captiva. We want more of them. They are all over the place down here, as you can see. What is that? Is that what is that? Is that an egg? Oh. Whoops. I don't want to do that. You come back. You're, you you, need health. So if you hit them, they will stop running. The trick is, is, oh, you're level three. Oh, come on. Bummer. Okay, where's the other one? Here it is. Boom. Awesome sauce. Uh, these guys, when you're in your party, they give you a, uh, they give you a capture rate bonus. Or not capture rate bonus, sorry, a carry weight bonus, which is super nice. And then while they're in their, your inventory, they will regain health. So pretty cool. And as you can see, cat, uh, the pals definitely levels us up faster, which is good. Uh, I do want a couple of you guys, but you can wait because these guys are, in my opinion, much cooler. Nice. How many is that? That's four cat of us. Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and grab well, at least one of these guys, right? Because they're so cute. And fluffy. We'll probably grab two. There we go. That should be 100%. Yep. All right, we are good there. So let's go ahead. I don't know what the little chicken things did do. I not caught. I didn't catch one of those in my last, in my last play. So I'm kind of tempted to grab one, just to check it out. A chickpea. Oh, we made them mad. They're hangry. Let's see, can we get you? We can. Oh. Owie. I think we got it. Yeah. All right. Cool. Now, next thing is up here. There is this. Is, oh, yeah. I saw uh, something twinkling. Yeah, right down there. I'm going to go see what that is. What are you? Ooh, Palladium Fragment. I'll take that. Any I don't have to mind even is great. So now we are going to run back up top. What was that? I just wood. Okay. We need a lot of wood, so might as well grab it. Uh, you know what? 
Just because I like these guys so much and they are really useful. Uh-oh. Ow! I'll go ahead and grab this guy too. I need more arrows already. That's so not cool, man. That's fine. That's fine. We can get, uh, now that we have those guys, what? Oh, that's the uh, one I defeated. Oh uh, yeah, here we are. So right here, suspiciously large open area, which looks like it would be perfect for building our first base in the, the newbie area. Ooh, 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 a thing, a thing. Oh, and I'm hungry, so I need to make some food. Let's go ahead, we'll get that glowy statue thing in a minute. Let's go ahead and level up our stuff a little bit uh, with those catavas in our inventory. As you can see, we're getting like an extra 200 carry weight, which is awesome sauce. Uh, so right now, I think I just want to, I want to level up our stamina a little bit so we can run a little bit further, which would be, you know, pretty useful. Chickpea poultry, that's cool. Uh, we got wool. Nice. All right. What's key items? Don't know. Let's go over to our technology and unlock some more stuff like cloth, which we don't quite need yet. And maybe we do because we can get armor. We can get a shield. Uh, what is this? Bell that says alert status for pals on the base. Change foul behavior to either attack invading enemies or focus entirely on work. Uh, it's kind of useful. Probably not as much right now. Uh, I do want to try this hanging trap. Catches pals that pass through. Only effective on small pals and humans. And humans. Hmm. Hmm. Probably need a feed box. We still got five points left. Let's grab our berry plantation, our ranch, and uh, I, really that's that's all we can grab right now. Oh, oh, we can grab that. We can grab that. I want to try it. I got to try it because it looks too good, right? Uh, we do need to eat, so let's... Uh, eat some berries you know our guys hungry nope they're all good okay so next is to start to claim an area for our base and start building so if we go into build mode we can go under pal the pal box is kind of is like what claims our area for our base um, which you can build a structure first but you can't put this inside the structure so I don't know if there's really a point to it to building a structure first there is a circle of influence which i can't really i can't really see but we're going to assume that this is a good spot and just drop it here and then we're going to build it and then we should be able to see what we got okay let's see Oh, yeah. Okay, so we got all this palladium. We got a little bit of the water in there. Not that that's important, but we got these rocks and stuff, too. And we should have that iron and all those berry bushes. This is important because our guys will be able to start helping us with building stuff. As you can see here, I can already put drop a guy in here. He's going to spawn and start harvesting stuff for us. We are going to... Try not to freeze to death through the night, but we're going to chop some wood so we can start putting down a house for some, a shelter. So you can automate almost every single thing in the base, around your base, using your pals, which is just really cool. That tree's got some weird blue in it over there. I think it's just a tree. Oh, that's from the circle. Okay, I, I know what that is. That's just from our claiming circle. It looked weird though for a second. So I wasn't sure what that was. But yeah, we're gonna need a lot of wood because we're gonna need to build a, a few things. And I think like all the trees and the rocks and stuff, they will respawn. See, as he's mining here, he will, if I had a chest out, he would eventually start putting everything that he's mining into a chest for us. It's pretty cool. That should be enough to get us started. Oh, he's asleep. Zero percent chance. Check that out. Okay. Oh, I just wasted that one. Dang it. 
I need to figure out how you put them back into your inventory when you're pulling them out like that. So let's go ahead and put down some foundations. Don't need anything too fancy right now. Oh, uh, I keep forgetting you can hit, what is it? It is right click. No, yes. Ah, build continuously. There we go. So we're just going to build a three by two. Cause you know, that should be more than plenty space. We are cold as you can see right now. So we need to kind of hurry up. Oh, okay. And get this going. I do. I think I do actually want a window there. I mean, not that it matters because this is, you know, just a, uh, a starter shack, if you will. So if you right click, you can con build continuously. Uh, we're just going to make this. Uh... Oh, there we go. I am cold still. I mean, that's to be expected. And then we are going to. Uh... Just make this a square roof right here like so because we don't need anything fancy if we decide we're gonna stay here for a little while well we can expand um, let's go ahead and spend our points our stat points here again and I'm going to get, again dump it into stamina and under technology we are going to go ahead and grab this parachute we're gonna grab this beer because I haven't had a chance to try that out uh, mounted torch wooden tavern set we don't need any of that statue of power maybe yeah because that lets us upgrade our character along with other things all right can do we have enough wood to start putting down some storage or maybe a bed because a bed would be pretty good right let's go ahead and just rotate that around using our mouse wheel Drop our bed down, build it up, and that should let us sleep through the night, kind of like in Minecraft. So we don't have to deal with the night. Now, nighttime, uh, there are certain pals from what I hear that come out only at night, kind of like, you know, the, the, the Pocket Monsters games. So at some point, we will be running around the night. But right now, we're taking a nap. All right, I'm gonna put down some chests and uh, you know get some things going that way, and I'll bring you guys back. Okay, so I have a couple chests put up. I have a crafting station, and yes, it's outside for a reason. As you can see our, here, our little buddy is helping us build stuff. I can just let him build it. Or I can help, even though I think he builds it faster than I do anyway. But it's cumulative, so if I'm helping out, it goes a little faster. And boom! Just like that, we have our crafting station. We have a repair station, which I need to use. Because my uh, axe is pretty toast, and my pick is pretty toast as well. We, have a, we still have that mega sphere, which is nice. We're down to only one uh, pal thing, and we have a problem. Our, our poor little pal over here is incapacitated. He's unconscious. I got to take it to the pal box. So we got to pull him out, put him back over there. He's out for like 10 minutes, which, you know, kind of sucks for him. But we can drop another guy in here for now. And let's move these guys up a little bit. I don't even care about the lamb ball. I can stay over there for now. So I have my one of my pals out right now. He's running around doing stuff. Now, also, if I come over here and I say want to make a as mm, what am I out of? I need stone. OK, so I guess I got to gather some stone. I guess I use more than I thought, which happens. And then we can have our guy make a bunch of pal balls for us or pal spheres. Which is gonna be awesome. Because you saw how tedious that was. Very tedious. Much, much 
suckage. But that's kind of the purpose. You know, these guys are here to help us around the base. And then there's this big guy over here running around. He makes me, he's making me very nervous. Not going to lie. I don't know if he's friendly or not. He hasn't attacked me yet. So that's, you know, at least some good news. And I don't know for sure if our pals will only work within the uh, the circle here. I kind of feel like the ones that we assign to our base will stay within the per the area of the base, but our ones that we have fallen us, they'll just kind of wander around wherever they please or near the base. I may be wrong on that. I don't know yet. More science required. Let's go ahead and grab a little more wood too, because we need to make a pal bed. We need to make a few of them because we're going to need a few of them. Because if you look over in the right, it says pals without beds will get stressed. And, you know, a stressed pal is no bueno. Uh, we're, let's see. We need to check the survival guide. I'm just looking here. We use tab. I just and eat food. I already I thought I did that already. So there's that done. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the survival guide. This thing looks pretty handy. It has all your keys, your game objectives. Uh, you know, it's so it's very, a very useful, very useful thing. Sanity? There's sanity in the game. There's sanity drops. Ah, okay. So that's what that is. So it's kind of like um, when your pals do work, they lose their sanity. Which, you know, I, I can understand that. My job causes me to lose sanity all the time. Um, but no, it's more like an energy stat, I believe. So, you know, they uh, end up running out of energy. They don't work anymore, basically. And that's what the beds are for, is to help them restore their energy. So let's go ahead and grab a little bit of this. Cool. The one feature I'd like to point out that I really, really think... Uh, uh, pocket or the developers nailed is the fact that I can drop all of these resources into the bench or into chests like so I don't want that on me because I'm not using that yet we'll keep the coins on us we'll keep the berries on us and we can craft straight from here which is awesome sauce we are going to you know what Ooh, let's make that first because that's only one item. And our buddy's going to come up here and help us knock it out of the park. Like so. And this will give us an overshield. So, you know, 100 points of regens. That's separate from our life. Yeah. Boom. Auto equips, as you can see on the left, it's filling up right now. And then we're going to make as many pal spheres as we can start production and we're gonna let one of them do that i'm actually gonna put down a second bench that way we can have more than one thing crafting at a time so let's go ahead and knock that out real quick boom and we're going to oh what are we missing for arrows stone okay so we need to mine some more stone and we need to get some arrows going. I'm going to mine the stone up real quick while they're making, you know, the po uh, the pal spheres so we can have them make some arrows. And then we're going to go take a quick peek around and see what there is to be seen. Hey, I just noticed that we have a thing, uh, mission complete pal upgrade available. So let's go over to our pal box real quick and see what is up. So we can, I guess we can hit V and upgrade our base. Oh yeah, check that out. Max pals working at base two, max number of bases is one. So I guess that means we can have multiple bases later on, which is awesome. Oh, we can do it again. Check that out. We are Gucci. That's awesome. And I just put down like six pal beds because I knew we were going to need it. Uh, let's see. Can we fast travel from here? Oh, we can. So we can fast travel to any of our places. What's that? Oh, that's the Mamoset thing. It must be a boss since it's marked on the map. 
Uh, but yeah, we can we can teleport back up to the plateau. I don't know why I have these areas lit up, but that's kind of cool too. All right, so we should we have they're almost done with our arrows and they're almost done making all this bed. So let's go ahead and get some more buddies out. What something just did 148 damage over there? Did you see that? Whoa. Okay, let's go ahead and put out this guy. Is he is he good now? No, he's still healing. So we're going to go ahead and put out, I guess, these two guys. Like so. So they can help work around the base as well. And um, one thing we can do with these guys, and this will help us pretty quick. Uh, I'm going to go over here a little bit so I don't block anything. And we're going to see, do we have enough room for a ranch? Ah, uh, we need more wood. Okay. Cool. We just need nine wood so we can go hit this tree and make it. Now with the ranch, those little cute fluff balls should drop wool and stuff like that, which we can turn into cloth and make our first set of armor, which will be pretty awesome. Uh, it actually wants us to capture a few more land balls. We might go ahead and do that too. Uh, let's go ahead and build that. We need insufficient. Oh, you need 50 wood. I thought I only needed nine. Okay, well that's fine. Let's go ahead. Do we have our arrows yet? Because there's a there's one of those little dudes over there, so I kind of want to get it. Go ahead and give me that one. That will be. Oh, there. Look, there's. Wait, is that mine? Or is that is that mine? Yeah, that, that's mine. Because you can tell by the sanity. Dang. I thought that was one of the. Uh, I thought that was a wild one. Dang. Okay, so we do need to go chop down some more wood. Okay, good. That thing is totes not aggressive, which is good. All right. I guess I'm going to get some more wood. Make that ranch. Hopefully make some armor, I guess. Yeah. That, that That's kind of the tentative plan right now. So uh, he's going in there, so maybe he's going to go ahead and produce some wool. He's just kind of wandered in there on his own. And this one looks like he's trying to figure out how to get in. Yeah, current task grazing. So yeah, I think they're gonna produce. Ah, oh, look at that. Something happened. Bottomless stomach. Oh man, that one eats a lot. But he doesn't eat much when he eats. That's weird. Okay. Don't know what that's about. That's okay. So we got two cloth. Can we make armor? We can. Awesome. So let's go ahead and get some armor going. Our buddy's going to come over and help us here in just a second. Like so. See how quickly that speeds up when one of your pals is helping you? Kind of cool. Boom. Okay. We got clothes. I should probably think about putting down something to cook with, too. So uh, like, I don't know, what do you think? Right, let's put it right in the front of the door. And then they have a feeding box. We should put that down somewhere too. And we're gonna put it over here by their beds, I think. So now we can stand outside and be warm. Awesome sauce. What is this? That's ore, okay. And now we need to be able to farm, uh, which we can't do that. Oh, look at that. We got another upgrade. Can, that's awesome. Hey, dude. How you doing? You, d you just going to sleep here. I see how it is. <laughs> you just you just sleeping in my base. Okay, we can now have four guys out, which is cool. See, I think if you don't have that resource placed anywhere, I don't think they know what to do with it because he was just kind of flashing but it's cool that they uh the pals seem to um sleep because oh, i wonder still zero percent chance okay because i can cancel with right click cool handy is that not one of ours 11 percent chance to capture that guy let's see what happens Are we gonna actually get it? Oh my god, we got him. That's cool. 
Okay, so build your base until it reaches level 7. We need to level by capturing 30 Powls. Powls. Powl. Let's go ahead and put our new little friend out. What level are you? You're both level 2, so I guess it doesn't. What's your stats? Mine Foreman. What the heck is that? How can I pin this so I can see it? Mining mine foreman. I guess maybe that makes him, him uh, mine faster, which is, yeah, pretty neat. Uh, which one of these guys learned a new move? Oh, they all okay. So they two of them have learned air cannon, cheery, suntan lover, insulated body, but they all have coward. So that's a thing. Hmm. Okay, I am going to go pull you back for now. We are going to go grab this uh, effigy. That has probably been annoying you guys for a while. Whoops. I keep hitting that. Oh, what are those? What are those? Those look so cool. They're kind of floating around everywhere. A dream. A daydream. Okay. It's level seven, level seven, level seven, level five. Let's try it. These guys are kind of tough, actually. Oh my goodness. Come on, give me one. I don't know what it does, but it looks cool. Whoa. Oh my god, it has a seeking attack. We got one. Let's go for the second. Those guys look awesome. He's low on health. Let's go ahead. Oh, get in there. Get in there. Got it. Nice. You can come back, my friend. We are going to pull out one of these guys. Look at him. He looks so cool. But they're low on health, so we're going to wait. Hopefully they're not aggressive. Oh my god, these guys look. Look at these guys. Is there a way to... Do I have a way of hiding my HUD? Because that would make an amazing screenshot. Command pal. Keyboard controller. Is that it? We don't have any other way? Huh. Um. Nope. That just that isn't going to do it. Um, how about aim my F keys? No. Okay, we're going to just get up here next to the pretty and just go. Oh, no, 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 no. Come here. Oh, that's actually pretty good right there. Hold, hold still. Get a couple of these. All right. We can work with that. We can work with that. That's so cool. Those guys look awesome. I have no idea what they do. But we're going to go over and check our Poke pa uh, Pal decks. Yeah. This dude. He's slaying me. I'm just saying. He's just sleeping by my fire. Look at that. They're all over the place. These guys look amazing. All right. Uh, pal deck. There it is. I wasn't too far off when I said pal decks. Okay. Okay, so it's a dark type. Uh, handiwork gathering. Cool. Transporting. I see. Okay, awesome. All right. Doesn't seem to active at this time. Okay. Ooh, we must have seen one of those things at some point. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead. 
and cook a bunch of these. Will you help build? Will you help cook? No, you won't. Okay, that's fine. Come back. We'll just cook up some food ourselves. I swear the pals are just coming out of the word work now. We're going to try and build one of these traps real quick. And I do mean quick because that guy looks like he's going to walk right into it. So, oh, it's already built. We just literally put it down. Let's see what happens here. This who could cheat? Who could cheat? Oh, he went away. He went away. Dang it. All right. Let's go ahead and get him because I don't know what he does, but he looks pretty cool. Again. Everybody's like, I'm going to get him. But we'll leave that trap there. Maybe we'll catch a catch a dude. Okay, cool. We got that guy too. Awesome. <laughs> oh, man. Uh-oh, lags. Lags. Often lost in thought. Sometimes finds it difficult to sleep. I think therefore I am. Wow, that was some, that was some lag right there. All right, let's drop what we have on us. And take a look at the new guy. All right, let's see here. Check you out, my dude. You look pretty cool. What does our pal deck say about you? Another dark Pokemon. Or pal, I'm gonna do that a lot. He drops, can drop fiber high grade technical manuals. Ooh, that sounds important. And he's only got gathering level one. Okay. Let's look at our party here. All right, so he can use air cannon. Yeah, and this guy does not seem to have any passives whatsoever. Interesting. All right, come on back, dude. Here's our daydream. Guys, I, I swear we are rocking it right now. Already. Oh, those the, the daydreams just look so cool, don't they? Uh yeah. I I I UI daydream. I hope so. Like it's like they just don't know what to pick up. Alright, let's go ahead and put some berries in here. Oh, look at that. They've been putting food in. Uh, shift. Put some of those in there too. Awesome. So they'll pick up food and put it in there. All right, guys. Well, I kind of wanted to go out and do some exploring, but I think that we are out of time for this video. But I, I think we're off to a good start. I think so, cause wow, we are we are rocking it. I've got a daydream. We got yo, the little cloud poofy guys which I'll probably go off camera and collect some more just to knock that quest out because they wanted us to do five we've got two so I need three more uh, you know what I'm gonna help you guys out there I got you I got you don't you worry all right <laughs> and so yeah we're just going to not I'm gonna knock that quest out off camera oh let's go ahead and use our points again I'm going to go ahead and drop it into stamina and technology. Mm, mm, we might need that soon. Um, logging site. Oh, they can grab wood. Oh, and stone. That's cool. We can do signs. Well, how many points do we have? Four. Okay, so. I think. Not worried about the alarm thing. I think right now our best bet is to. Um, grab these. So that's pretty awesome sauce. We need to get figure out. We need to get one of these ancient things too. So uh, to unlock this, the ancient technology, so we can get the 
egg incubator and put out the egg that we uh, found or incubated. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button and uh, leave a comment. Tell me what you uh, like about PAL World so far. And if you have a favorite PAL, let me know which one because I am dying to know. I'm trying not to watch too much other content on this game as I kind of want to experience a lot of it firsthand. So yeah, just let me know uh, what your favorite pal is in the comment section down below. Until next time, guys, this is Neo. And I'm going to go catch them all. <laughs> Have a good one.